Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life. Today we're gonna to take a deeper dive into the personalization options on Windows 11. We're going to look at the themes, the fonts, changing your backgrounds, and especially take a look at the new high contrast themes. So hang on, we'll be right back. So there's actually two ways to get into the personalization section of the settings. Uh, we could launch settings and then on the left side, it says personalization as one of the categories. You click on that and that's how you get into it. You can also right click on your desktop here and right there, personalize. Click on that and that's going to launch your personalization settings as well. So the first section here is you can select a preset theme. Below that, we have background. So this is going to be your wallpaper, your desktop wallpaper. Colors, themes, lock screen, touch keyboard, your start menu, your taskbar, and then at the bottom, fonts. Uh, so these are all things that you can customize and personalize and make them easier for you with your particular needs. At the top here, we have a bunch of preset themes that you can choose from. Uh, it's just kind of a quick way to get right into it. Uh, once you choose one of these though, you are able to edit some of these other options. So don't, you're not necessarily locked into one of these presets here. Now let's jump into backgrounds. If I click on that first little section, uh, there's a little drop down here. This is lets you choose what type of background you have, whether it's a picture, a solid color or a slideshow. And then you can choose things down here, like where the picture is located, where the slideshow is located, how often it changes pictures. Right now it's set to 30 minutes by default. And then you can choose the size of the image. So pretty basic stuff. Let's go back. Next is colors. And this is where you can choose all the different accent colors as well as the background color of your windows here. Uh, for example, I'm running the dark theme or the dark mode. If I click it back to light, be careful. There, yeah, there we go. Bright, super bright. Um, so I'm gonna put that back to dark because that is not comfortable right away. That hurt my eyes. <laughs> But one cool thing is also in there, you have a custom setting. And this allows you to set uh, either the light mode or light theme or the dark theme for particular elements. One of which is your system and the other is apps. So for example, if I set the app to the light, uh, now this settings app, which is technically an app running on the computer. This is light, but if I pop open my start menu, it's still dark because I have Windows system uh, things set to the dark mode, whereas the apps are set to light. So pretty cool. I don't know why, you know, maybe somebody would want to do that for some reason. Um, I'm not going to, but it's nice that you have that option. Next, we have transparency effects. I talked about that in my previous uh, video talking about the Windows 11 accessibility. Some of these windows can have a transparent background. And uh, whereas that probably looks really cool, visually and stylistically, um, it can cause issues for some people with low vision. If you know, a window on top is semi-transparent, you can kind of see a window below that, it can cause some issues. So I generally turn mine off. Next we get into accent colors. And this is where a lot of people might uh, benefit from playing around with some of these. The accent colors is, as you see, this window has a colored box all the way around it or edge all the way around this window. And that is nice because it separates it from the background. It really helps this window stand out. And this is something that we really worked on. Um, I, you guys might not know, but might not be aware, but I'm on the Windows Accessibility Advisory team for Microsoft. And this is something that we talked about and we've been talking about for well over a year now is really adding color contrast to help items stand out and be separated from other elements on the screen. Um, and so you can come in here and you can choose any of these colors to adjust that outline to, to best fit how you see it. Um, I personally really like the bright ones like this bright 
yellow works really well for me or even some of these bright blues that really helps stand out for me personally what's cool is you can also come in here and do a custom color so I can choose any color under the rainbow literally to choose as my color and then I just kind of apply that and now I've got that custom color as my accent color Next, we have two toggles here. One is show the accent color on your start menu and your taskbar. I have that turned off because when I turn it on, my taskbar just kind of lit up. And now if I pop open my start menu, it has that color as well. And that doesn't work well for me. Um, that's too bright of, I, I, I prefer the dark background. It helps me see my little, my icons and things there. So that doesn't work for me. Um, so I generally have that turned off. You see though here, we've got that accent color in the toggle, which is really nice. It's very clear that this to toggle is turned on versus that turned off. Uh, so that's really nice. The other one is show the accent color in title bars of windows. Um, so like for example, this notepad, if I bring that up, we have that accent color up here. And if I turn that off, if I can see it, there, I turned it off. Now it turns off that uh, color. And for this, I kind of like it. It helps me separate this title bar from the background. So for this particular element or uh, place, it works to have this turned on. So I like that. Next is contrast themes. We're gonna come back to that. And we'll talk about that here in a second. We'll wrap up with that. Coming back one page, back to our personalization. I'm not gonna to go too deep into some of these other ones here, lock screen. You can change the background of your lock screen. You can set a, an app to show up on the lock screen. Touch keyboard, I'm not gonna go into that. Um, you know, a lot of these, the taskbar, you're able to customize these. Inside the taskbar here, incidentally, is, is the section where you can set all of these icons back to the left side. If the having the start menu here in the middle is just kind of throwing you off and it's hard to get used to I, I completely understand you can set that back to the left side so don't worry about that next we've got fonts I will jump in here real quickly because fonts might be great for some people you have a ton of fonts to choose from in here and you can set these as your system fonts I don't know why they disappear like that it drives me crazy let's see if we can make this higher there we go now they won't disappear. Oh, they don't disappear as quickly anyway. So lots of different fonts to choose from. So you might find one in there that's bold, uh, maybe larger, or maybe doesn't have, you know, serifs. Uh, something that might be easier for you to see. When you click on one of these, it just takes you into the, the page here and you kind of get some more examples and things and you can set the font scale, which is really, really nice. As I said in my accessibility video, be careful setting the font scale because it could cause some rendering issues um, in certain areas. You know, you might open up a window and the text is set so big that the little OK or cancel button down at the bottom is cut off. You know, some, you might run into issues like that. So just be careful of that. The final section here is device usage. So you can go in there and investigate that. All right, let's jump into themes. So we have these preset themes that you can choose from and you can just click on it and it will adjust the theme. And if I, if I drag this down now, we have the new theme running. Our first little section here is a couple little areas you can choose from. Some of these we've already seen, background. Once again, colors, we've already looked at all those. Sounds, you can go in and adjust the sounds to find a, a sound set that works the best for you. Then you've got mouse pointer. Now here's a clear indication that not all of Windows has been updated with this new uh, Windows 11 visual style. Maybe not even Windows 10. I believe this is either Windows 7 or Windows XP left over here. This is the same mouse interface that we've had for years and years and years and years. But you can go in here and play around with those. 
Keep in mind that these are the basic settings for the mouse pointer. If you would like more accessibility options for your mouse pointer, like different pointer colors, different pointer sizes, check out my video on the Windows 11 accessibility. Below here, we have presets available and you can just click on one of these. Um, I was running this one a minute ago. If I click on it, it just changes the, the uh, theme very quickly. So now I've got the new wallpaper and the new accent colors. I'm not crazy about this purple accent color. Uh, but as we said, it, you know, we can go in and adjust that. I'm going to go into colors and I'm going to choose my, uh, let's see, let's choose this blue. I like the blue. Yep. That's more contrast in this accent color for me. It works better. If you'd like to find more themes, you can click on here, browse themes. That probably takes you into the Microsoft store so you can shop around for some more themes. Then we have desktop icons here. You can change your icon style and we have contrast themes. So let's go into there. And here's really a great section for us, especially. Um, they've changed the names. It's just contrast themes. It used to be called high contrast themes. But this is great. Uh, very similar to the regular themes area. You have some presets here and you get a little picture of the preset here. It shows you what the elements are going to look like. If you want to choose one of these, it's this section right here. You've got a drop down has all the names of the presets. Uh, let's see. What is this one? Aquatic. I don't know if I'm going to like aquatic. Let's go to night sky. Let's try night sky. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to click on night sky and click apply. Screen gets messed up for a second. And now we are in the high contrast theme. No background, no wallpaper. Obviously you could change that. But we have this really high contrast outline around the edge. The outline is thicker. For some reason, it doesn't go across the top. I think that's a, um, a kind of a poor design choice because I'm like, where is the top of my window? I can't find it. There it is. Uh, if I hit the start menu here, you can see that this is all high contrast. Everything has this really strong contrasty border. We have high contrast text colors and buttons, outlines, and button highlights. One really nice thing about choosing a high contrast theme is sometimes these windows that were traditionally white, bright white, are now inverted. So this is my notepad window that usually is always bright white. Even if I'm running a dark theme, it's bright white. So you can go in here and try all of these different high contrast themes. Keep in mind, some of these are going to be bright white, so be careful with that if you're uh, a little bit of photophobic as I am. But these contrast themes become very powerful when we click on the edit button here. Once we choose one, we can click edit. And now we can come in here and edit a lot of these colors. So, for example, if I bring up my start menu and for some reason I'm not feeling this yellow that outlines a button. I can come in here and find the button color, which I think that's it button. Yeah. So the outline is yellow. I click on the yellow and I can choose a different color. Maybe I want it to be red instead. I can click red. I can really fine fine tune all of this, you know, choose the specific blue green uh, ratios, all of that click done. And what's really cool is I can save this as a preset. So I can come in and customize one of the existing presets and save it as a brand new customized personal preset. Really, really cool. Let's see if it changed the, the button color yet. No, not yet. I'd have to, I'd have to save it, but I'm not going to because I'm not, I don't really care about that red color. <laughs> So I'm going to cancel it, but um, yeah, really, really cool. You can customize a lot of the elements of these contrast themes. And just because it's a high contrast theme, if I wanted, see, I can't find the top. I wish it had a line across the top. If I wanted a background, I could just go in and add in a wallpaper background, you know, cause I like a little bit of personal personalization. 
come in here, let's click on background and let's add in, not solid color, we want a picture. And we'll choose this picture here. I like that picture that I was using before. So now I have my high contrast theme with this great outline, a high contrast text and everything, but I still have a really cool background that I like. And this carries over into all the different elements. So yeah, if I was gonna run with this one, I might change that title color. I'm not crazy about that. I might change the text color. I'm not crazy about the, the yellow text color. So I would customize it for exactly what I wanted, but great, great high contrast themes. All right, guys, so that was a look at the personalization options on Windows 11, including the themes and most importantly, those contrast themes. I really love what they've done to it and I could see myself using those contrast themes much more often. So I hope you guys like that. Let me know in the comments, what do you think about the new themes on Windows 11, including those customizable contrast themes. If you did enjoy this video, you found it helpful, be sure to hit the like button, share it on Facebook and Twitter and social media, uh, all of that. Liking, sharing, commenting, that really helps out the channel. It, it tells YouTube's almighty algorithm that <laughs> my videos are helpful and it will hopefully push them out to more people. And I would truly appreciate that. All right, guys, if you need anything else, be sure to check out my website, theblindlife.net. You can find information there about myself and the merchandise, the low vision blind merchandise I sell on Amazon and Teespring. I also wanna give a huge thank you to all of my members scrolling up right here. <laughs> I really appreciate all of your support and it helps out the channel tremendously. Huge thank you to all of them. If you would like to become a member of The Blind Life, help support the channel and find your name scrolling up the screen someday, definitely check out the link in the description or visit the membership tab on my YouTube channel. But that is it guys. As always, this is Sam with The Blind Life. I'll see you next time.